Hello, let's start with the next section, Support Vector Machines. In this section, we're going to learn how to implement a soft separable SVM in TensorFlow using the specific loss function. We will learn how to use Support Vector Machines to fit linear regression. We will understand how to change kernels and separate nonlinear separable data. We will then apply a nonlinear kernel to split a data set. Finally, we will use a multi-class SVM to categorize the three types of flowers in the iris dataset. Now we move on to the first video of this section, working with a linear SVM. In this video, we are going to create a linear separator from the iris dataset and implement it in TensorFlow using the specific loss function. To implement a soft separable SVM in TensorFlow, we will implement the specific loss function. Here, A is the vector of partial slopes, B is the intercept, X of I is a vector of inputs, Y of I is the actual class and alpha is the soft separability regularization parameter. We start by loading the necessary libraries. This will include the scikit-learn dataset library for access to the iris dataset. We start a graph session and load the data as we need it. Remember that we are loading the first and fourth variables in the iris dataset as they are the sepal length and sepal width. We are loading the target variable, which will take on the value 1 for Satosa and minus 1 otherwise. We should now split the dataset into train and test sets. We will evaluate the accuracy on both the training and test sets. Since we know this data set is linearly separable, we should expect to get 100% accuracy on both sets. Next, we set our batch size, placeholders and model variables. It is important to mention that with this SVM algorithm, we want very large batch sizes to help with convergence. We can imagine that with very small batch sizes, the maximum margin line would jump around slightly. Ideally, we would also slowly decrease the learning rate as well, but this will suffice for now. Also, the A variable will take on the shape 2 by 1 because we have two predictive variables, sepal length and sepal width. We now declare our model output. For correctly classified points, this will return numbers that are greater than or equal to 1 if the target is Satosa and less than or equal to minus 1 otherwise. Next, we will put together and declare the necessary components for the maximum margin loss. First, we declare a function that will calculate the L norm of a vector. We add the margin parameter alpha, and then declare our classification loss and add together the two terms. Now, we declare our prediction and accuracy functions so that we can evaluate the accuracy on both the training and test sets. Here, we will declare our optimizer function and initialize our model variables. We now start our training loop, keeping in mind that we want to record our loss and training accuracy on both the training and test set. The output of the script during training should look like this. In order to plot the outputs, we have to extract the coefficients and separate the x values into Satosa and non Satosa. And finally, we use this code to plot the data with the linear separator, accuracies, and loss. In this plot, you can see the final linear SVM fit with the two classes. Here, the test and train set accuracy over iterations can be seen. We do get 100% accuracy because the two classes are linearly separable. And this is the plot of the maximum margin loss over 500 iterations. Now that we have successfully implemented a linear SVD model using the maximum margin loss function, let's go ahead to the next video.